Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a really quick diagnostic test that can help you determine if your misfire is a mechanical issue or if it is a uh, system control issue like ignition or fuel. So I have this Chrysler 200 that came in. It has a cylinder number one and cylinder number four misfire. And it's counting pretty regularly when I do a misfire monitor. I've already gone through and swapped the coil and plug and swap the fuel injector and the misfire hasn't moved. So now I'm at the point where I need to determine is it something controlling the spark and ignition or is it a mechanical issue? Now you can do a compression and leak down test but something that's a little bit quicker if you have access to a Pico 7 scope is you can hook the scope up and run an NVH test and you can run a compression test. So what I have this set up with is I have a single lead coming out of the Pico 7 and that is going to the jump starting posts. If you had access to the battery posts, you would do it from there. And what it's gonna do is it's going to measure the starter draw cranking the engine over without it firing. And it will be able to tell you on the graph here when you tell it how many cylinders you have, you can see it, I'm telling it that it is a four cylinder engine. Uh, it'll be able to tell you what the contribution of each cylinder is. Now it won't be able to determine if there is a mechanical issue exactly what cylinder it is, but it's a really quick test that allows you to be able to see if there is a mechanical issue and you need to diagnose further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I have it set for four cylinders and I'm gonna hit start test. It's gonna give you a, please ensure that the throttle is held fully open during the duration of this test. So you'll do like a clear flood uh, type procedure and that's where you're gonna hold the brake and hold the throttle all the way down uh, and it will uh, disable the spark in the fuel and allow you to get uh, this process. You're gonna have to hold it for about five, 10 seconds. So I'm gonna hit okay and it's gonna say crank engine. So from here, I'm going to hold the brake and hold the throttle down, crank the engine over. That should be enough time. All right, now I can go back to the laptop and I can see that all cylinders are contributing. They're all above 80%. If it is uh, below 80%, this little bar goes to yellow. If it is below uh, 75 or 60%, I don't remember off the top of my head, it goes red. But we can see I have two cylinders at 100%, one at 98 and one at 97. So this would be an indication of a good engine. Uh, what that's telling me is that I don't have a mechanical issue. I don't have an issue with the pistons, uh, the valve timing, or uh, like a non-sealing valve or anything along those lines. The one thing that I can say is, is I have seen to where like head gaskets can get fooled by this, but it has to be a really light head gasket issue. I don't think that's the case here since it's a cylinder number one and cylinder number four misfire. So what that, need, what that means for me on this vehicle is I have to go through and look at diagnosing uh, probably electrically why I'm having an issue uh, with it counting misfires. But I just wanted to show you this really quick test because uh, it's super helpful in determining again if you have a mechanical misfire or if you have a control misfire. So I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully you found this helpful and see you in the next one.